What's going on, crazy world? Welcome to another episode of the Black Sheep Perspective. Before I start this podcast with this amazing guest that I have in mind, I want to remind everybody out there, listen, make sure you guys go to blacksheepapparel.shop. Once again, blacksheepapparel.shop to go get your brand new gear. Got a lot of dope shit over there. It's like people forgot. I had to take a time off of doing the apparel because uh, we had to get the legal things in matter. Don't want somebody stealing my shit. Had to make sure that I was branded the right way and protected. We got things under control. Still got a couple of things to do, but we're, we're, we're not protected. So I'm reminding you guys again, you want to support the cause or you want to stand out, you want to feel like you know, you're know one in a thousand, you're one in a million, you're something special, you're something unique, go to blacksheepapparel.shop. Find your apparel, find your your hats, your everything. We got it all over there. Now, my guest today, a homegirl of mine, we've been vibing for a long time. We have never had a chance to do the podcast. We've always talked shit. We always send each other messages and whatnot on Instagram. Funny motherfucker she is. <laughs> Crazy she is. Dark she is. There's a whole lot of uh, wild shit that I would love to get to know a lot better today. She's my friend who we met through a couple of other friends. We got a lot of mutual friends. You know how the community is, especially here in Miami. Guys, give yeah, give a big welcome to Nastasia, but we're gonna say Nas, amazing <laughs> to be way more. Uh, Nas, thank you for coming. Welcome to the podcast. Glad to be here. Uh, we've known each other for a while. We've never gotten close enough to uh, to to know all the the quirks and craziness of each other, and we've been yeah. vibing, talking shit. Yeah, you know, I remember we. There was a couple of times that we like we were at the beach when I was when I was chilling with Helen. And then you will pop up out of nowhere. It was Helen. Yeah, I'm thinking it was Mimi. It was I Helen. Don't know, man. I don't know. We got to figure. We got to. We got to figure that one out. For sure, like Helen. That's my dog. I love okay. Her. Well, I, I didn't. I didn't know if it was Helen or it was Mimi. They they probably know each other by now too, as well. But I don't think Helen would match with Mimi. Yeah. <laughs> Helen is another right, another right. Piece. She's a little spicy Chihuahua, yeah. bro, and and Chihuahua is, is literally not an understatement. Yeah. That that girl's a little spicy Chihuahua, but big shout out to Helen. Mm-hmm. But yeah, we were trying to figure out off camera how was it that we first crossed paths, and uh, okay, it's been at least what by now. If you were to take a wild guess, how long has it been? Okay, so let me see, over ten for sure. Over ten, maybe, maybe like eighteen. Damn, you're making us look old, girl. We look good. There you go. There you go. A lot, a lot of my friends were asking me about um, my next podcast. You know, every time I take my time with podcasts, you know, and and, and I'm I'm picky, I'm choosy. A lot of things play a role into when I want to do a podcast and why. And uh, when they asked me about my next podcast (laughs) guest, I was like, bro. I'm I'm in the roller coaster ride with like everybody else, you know. <laughs> Nas, I don't know her well enough, but I know she's awesome. She's a cool chick. She's wild. She's got darkness. She's got a story. She's got a whole lot. And bro, I just want to vibe with her, man. I just want to. I just know that she's somebody that we can have a good time. Just talk about life. It's not about you know putting her on the spot and getting to, so much to know about her, but it's just like just want to vibe with her. You know, you can learn a lot from somebody when yeah. you just have conversations about yeah, life learn, in you general. Can learn from somebody too, you know. Right, and and I. You know, I, I would love to know, and again, people watching right now, drop some comments and let me know. What is your first thought when you see this girl here? She's got this, <laughs> she's got the blue, and we already know the world right now is really weird with the blue hair thing, right? Your blue hair is different. That shit looks dope. It looks like you on some X-Man shit, you know, look like you can just <laughs> fucking spread your wings and throw some magic at me. Um, but you got to admit, a lot of the blue hair dying is is these women who are trying to make some kind of I don't know I don't want to say it wrong they, I, the women who are um, against the 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 the, the misogynist way the guys who are man just men hating and all that I, I don't know what you're talking about. what the women women are dyeing their hair blue to be part of that that act that's against men men pretty you know much I didn't want to say men I didn't want to say men because it's gonna you know I got a story so there's this guy that I dated and um. I was I still have like a low key you know in love with him type shit, but um, okay, they're they're just they're just went all your fans right now who were trying to hook up with you. <laughs> <laughs> Go but, ahead. Um, but like when he broke up with me, like it was so it was so messed up because I I he made me look so on point because he would we'll go to restaurants and shit, and he'll be like, oh no, you can't be eating that, don't eat that, no, don't eat that, you shouldn't be eating that. I'm like, what? My God, I'm gonna like this is, this is torture, yo. Like I want to eat everything. 
So I was looking good. I was like real slim. I had like a nice cute body. So he, was he a fitness guy? Is that why he was telling you don't no, eat those things? No, he just didn't want me to get like like chubby or something. You know what I'm saying? So, and I was working at House Nightclub at that time. I was uh, the, the VIP bartender. So um, whatever, I, you know, I, I wanted to make him happy. So I was... I follow, I follow. Yes, sir. He was German. Yes, sir. <laughs> he was German. German, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't go. <laughs> Why you had to do this? Yeah, Why? Hold on, hold on. Is that, is, that, is that how the Germans yeah, walk? Damn, nah. Oh, yeah, it oh <laughs> Lord, this is a rough start. This is a rough start. German, I nah, love I love German people. It's me, me, me making fun of him. You know what I'm uh, saying? Right, right. Like, I got oh, you. I got you. German, okay. Okay, so so he was he was a little harsh on on trying yeah. to you know guide you into what he thinks you should yeah, do. Yeah, so he had left me for some Venezuelan girl that was beautiful, like she had like a nice body, really fit, and I was like, damn man, like I know you was talking to this girl like way before we broke up. So I was like, hmm, what can I do about this, bro? Because my heart's fucking broken. So I went ahead and you know back in the day the the Instagram had those things that you see with, with likes. And what comments you would get. Okay. You know? That's another story that I got to say, by the way. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so, I found, who she, I, found, I found out who she was. And I told her, look, um, I don't know how you, how long you've been dating this guy, but I've been with him for this long. So, I think you guys got together while I was with him. And let me tell you, man, this guy is a narcissist. Like, I just started putting him out there, but because I, I'm a, I, she looked like a girl. So, okay. So, let me, let me pause you real quick. I, I love that you're telling me this. I didn't even see this coming. This is left field, and I love it. Do you, be real. Mm -hmm. Did you do that? What was this? Was this long after he left you, and you did it looking out for her because you just felt like he was probably going to shit on her too because yeah. you knew he basically was cheating on you at some yeah, point. Yeah, I know. Or did you do this because you were broken hearted and you no, were trying no, to fuck look, him up? No, I was I was broken hearted, but then when I talked when I talked to her, she seemed really nice. She had no like no my no my dad no trying to like talk to me ratchet or anything, and I was like, damn, look, let me let me talk talk to you like woman and woman. I've been with him for this long, you know. You guys, when did you guys guys start dating? Okay, so yeah, you were with him when I was with him. So, you know, let me just tell you a little a couple things about him, you know, that are not good. And I just started telling her like a lot of things that he would make me do and make me feel bad, and like and I would just try do it just to make him happy. And I know that's. That's like m me being messed up because I should take care of me instead of somebody uh, somebody else's feelings. You right, but now you start looking out for her because you remember what happened to you. Yeah, so I told her, I was like, "Look, I'm do you think like, it had an impact? It did. It, it did. did really? Yeah, she she broke up with him. Wow, now that's she, something you never hear about. She, she so that's me, impressive. She, she told me straight up. She said, "You know what? I I noticed a lot of uh, like a lot of red flags. You know what I'm saying? Like I noticed a little some a, a couple things I didn't like. I was like, girl, run away right now, girl." Run away right now. If you don't want to get, you know what I'm saying, in a situation you don't want to be in. And then she's, oh, my God, thank you so well, she much. She did, really. So she, she ended up leaving him. And then after So that, what, what does the blue hair connect to that? Did it make oh, okay, you do so, some rebellious yeah, shit? So then, so then when I got my heart broken, I, I dyed my hair blue because I had my hair blonde. And when I got my heart broken, I was like, oh, I feel blue. I feel also, I feel blue. So I dyed my whole head blue. You know what I'm saying? I feel blue. I don't need that. I don't need that. I was rocking that, hair, that blue hair, though. You know, but but listen, not picking on you, but it, it is it is crazy how people try to express what they're going through without really trying to tell the world. But they are, right? Yeah. Like, like you weren't trying to tell all your friends, hey, this motherfucker broke my heart. Fuck him, this, this, and that. Yeah. Maybe you did to your, your closest. You know, we all do that. But you were kind of trying to pour out the feelings a little bit by doing that yeah and one will never know you know and, and that's wild because i meant what i said i know that the whole blue hair dye thing is yeah. is uh it's that movement against men for whatever what i don't even know how to say it because it's so wild and, and, I, and i want what you to what, what, what color blue was it because i had like an indigo color no nah, i don't know it wasn't that blue that's no, a nice this, blue this is, this is it wasn't blue. that blue it was this i don't know the blue that i had before wasn't this one it was like oh a dark okay blue, like an indigo I'm really not sure. I'll, I'll have really to look, I'll, I'll have to look that up, and I don't even know what the what the relevance is behind the blue. Why yeah. why blue? Maybe, maybe it's just color your hair really you know really bright and all that stuff. That's how you make a statement. I, I guess you got to be in that group to know what the inside kind of scoop saying, is. Yeah. You know, it's like hey I mean, man. For me, I'm saying you how, what I felt what I meant. Yeah to yeah, me. well, exactly. You're 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 yeah, okay. I was, I was really sad, you know, so I I was like in the blues. And and 
so all right. So since I've known you, and, and again, uh, I'm making it very clear, I don't know you well enough. So this this is to me, this is awesome. I get to know you on the podcast. We, we just spoke for about 20 minutes. You know, we know each other. We do. We're yeah. not strangers, but we don't know each other close like that. So th- this is dope. And uh, if you ever want to ask me anything fucking deep, you go right ahead. I I don't bite my tongue. You go ahead. Mm-hmm. Um, you express that through that what just happened. But since I've been following you, since we met, we hung out several times. But since I've been following you. You're very expressive in regards to like the way you dress, the tattoos, the color changing, mm-hmm. and I don't know that that no one's seen it yet. If you want to demonstrate, you split your tongue. Can, yeah. you, can you show the camera that? My goodness, yeah, that's the wildest shit. I've never had a conversation with a girl who had a tongue split like that. I, I definitely want to go into that in a you little had a bit. Conversation with her? I've never, oh, you've never met had a, a girl or okay, talked so to a girl who, who's done you, that. Let me tell you something. I think I'm the first in Miami, but then there's the second girl that did it. In Miami? Yes. You're going to get called out on that. I don't know. That's I don't got I, I don't got enough followers, what, but you're going to get I called think, out on that. I really? I've, you did the I research? I have not seen anybody with their tongue split. Ah, man, you know what? Hey, the somebody. Girl, the only girl that got her tongue split is because she asked who my artist was, and I told her it's him. And she went to go get Let, it. Let's see if somebody can prove us wrong. When did you get the chunks split? Because it's been a minute now. Mm. At least four or five look, years. I got to look at my phone. At least four or five years, you don't know think? Probably like four. Yeah, four it seems five. like four or five yeah. years. Anybody out there, if you think you know a female who got her tongue split earlier than that, who's from Miami, let us know because we think Nas was the first one. <laughs> we think <laughs> no Nas matter, is the first, the first one. one. No matter what, you part of the pioneers, so that, that's a good thing. But what made you do that? Nas, that... Listen, man, you can pierce every fucking little thing you got on your body. Nipples, clit, elbow, I don't give a fuck. Splitting your tongue is a whole nother ball game. Yeah. And I can't speak for everybody out there, but I'm going to say that 60% of the average dudes or people out there, when they see that, they think more gothic, more, I don't know, heavy metal. Demonic, I, I, I don't, demonic. Yeah, I didn't want to say demonic. That's a little extra, but... Most people, some people will do that, yes. I didn't want to say demonic. Yeah. I don't want to say that gothic leads to demonic, but regardless, that is very extra. What made you do that? I can understand the blue, and I can understand from following you for so long on Instagram, you are very expressive of your emotions, and we'll get into that. What made you split the tongue? Well, the tongue split, I to tell you the truth, I just, you know, I've always strived to be like the most weirdest, differentness. Different, no, different. We'll do differentness. Different it's a new word. We'll differentness. differentness, baby. Differentness. Hashtag it. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to be like the most different girl in Miami. So it's okay. like the first thing I ever did to my tongue was I pierced the tip, the, the, the two snake bites or whatever. Okay. So that, that's what it's called. And then everybody started doing it. I was like, man, take this shit off for it. And I was like, and I started just like scrolling and scrolling. And I found this artist, body modification artist named Matthew Train. This guy's insane, dude. He's so insane, but. He's so professional, dude. Like he's when he's doing your procedure, he's like talks to you like he's a doctor. But then he starts talking about like all the crazy shit. Like we we're like, what the fuck? Like, can I trust this guy, bro? Of course. Well, he's you know seen a lot saying? of crazy shit. He's gonna he's gonna talk about it. No, and the messed up part is that when we, when I went to go meet him up, it we were, it was in downtown Miami, right? And I went with my with my, my brother from another mother, because like my brother's kind of like. I'm like, nah, not that strong, not that, you know, about it or whatever. But this guy was about it, you know what I'm saying? So we went, and uh, you got my back, right? All right, cool. So then he ride, he rode out with me, and the building looked like some some grimy-ass building, man. Like, it's so grimy. Even him, being a tough guy, was like, Nas. Is this, you know, like, downtown-ish? Or? Yeah, yeah, downtown he's okay. like, And he's like, Nas, Nas, yo, yo, I, I don't know, man. I don't like this. I don't like this. This is crazy, man. Like, like, like a fucking serial killer is going to pop out of nowhere, dog. I was like, bro. I, I paid my deposit, cuz. Like, <laughs> yeah. Man, I'm gonna get my tongue split, man. That's why I paid a deposit, bro. I'm not, you know, let's go, let's go. So we go and knock on the room, and this guy opens the door, and he's there with like these three big people, like these three big people with piercings and shit. And he's fixing some girl's lobe, I guess, because her shit, like, got Oh, like, from out. getting, from getting the, uh, what is it called? The gauges. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So he, he literally finished her off and stuff, and then they were, they were looking at us. Cause me and my me and my boy were like super tatted compared to them, and they were asking us, "Oh, hey, nice tattoos there and tying us." And me and my boy were like, <laughs> like looking crazy. Cause my my boy has like, if if there's a resting bitch face for guys, he, he has, has it. it. <laughs> yeah. Can I ask you a question? I know it's gonna sound bad, but whatever it is, what it is. is he gay? No, he's not gay. Okay. At okay. all. Okay. Okay. At all. 
He's, I say that he's my brother because I've known him since he, since I used to work out at Porky's. And, um, you know, he was like a little, you know, insecure guy and stuff like that. And But he had the he had the balls to come up to me and talk to me. I'm like, okay, and we'll be friends and shit, you know what I'm saying? And he, got, he got friends on. No, no. Ah, he got friends yeah, on. man, he's my brother. Oh, you, know, well, you guys became brothers. Yeah, You yeah. became family, but, yeah, you know. Yeah, like, I consider him like my brother, straight up, because the way he talks to me, he has a lot of knowledge, he reads a lot of books. And he gives me advice, you know what I'm saying? He's been through a lot, uh, but the but now he's like super tatted, like I'm talking about like tatted from head to toe, you know what I'm saying? So I I, I kind of like showing him around. I like, go, oh, this is my brother right here, you know what I'm saying? Like look, look, look he's super tatted, head to toe, you know what I'm saying? And I like I like that. Like I, I be I be telling you girls. Like, how how do you feel about the the pain factor in regards to dealing with that versus with the, piercings? With the tongue? Yeah. Okay, so check this out. So. I basically went to the specific one guy, right? Because he was going to numb it. <laughs> and I'm like, hmm, that's good enough for me. Shit, I'm, I'm down for numbness. So he's like, yeah, but you're still kind of going to feel it a little bit. And I'm like, okay. Um, so then I, I had did like a little bit of lip injections in the early, earlier in my life, like when I was younger. But they, it created like a bubble, like a bubble on the bottom of my lip. And it was so noticeable and ugly. And I went to the doctor I told the doctor, hey, how much do you charge you to take this out? Well, a th- a thousand, two hundred, thousand, a hundred dollars. I'm like, what? Oh, wait, yeah, okay, th- thanks for info. So then when he was doing my tongue, I asked him, hey, how much do you charge to get that right right there up? Oh, I charge you a hundred. And I'm like, bro, do that. Yo, oh, my God, this was so painful. Okay, so the tongue, let me explain how the tongue was. My, oh. bo- my boy had to be behind me. And and basically he put a hook on one side of my tongue and a hook on the other side. Oh my god! I, I, I feel like YouTube is gonna censor this. That's, I'm already cringing. Okay, go so, ahead. So my boy had to be behind me, holding both strings and like holding them apart. So that, so my my tongue was flat. So then I had to hold a cup right here, so all the blood could fall in the cup. Oh! And this guy just starts sliding. You gotta hold you. You gotta hold your own fucking yeah, like, cup eh. of blood. <laughs> so this guy started like. Slicing and dicing and slicing and slicing until you got to where you have to go. But you're numb, so you don't feel no, it. No, I, I didn't. I didn't. Ah, I didn't feel it. Shit. <laughs> I felt. I just felt like a little bit of pressure. <clears throat> but. But when he numbed you, sorry to cut you <clears throat> off. He, did he inject you with Novocaine, or he numbed it with a cream, or no, something no, swallowed? He, like he injected me with something. Oh, okay, well, something. Yeah, yeah, girl, you just didn't. Even no, no, but he explains what it was. Oh, okay. And okay. then I was like, is it gonna make, make me feel weird? And they start explaining the side effects of the shit because this guy knows the shit. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. And I'm there like, wait. This. So am I gonna be like sweating, hyperventilating? What, what, what's going on? I said, bro, like I'm just telling you what you want, what you asked me to. What, what you wanted to answer for, right? So right. that's it. But don't freak out. You're gonna be all right. And I'm there like, oh shit, like I'm already freaking out type shit, you know? But whatever, it was fine. He he cut it, and my boy still had it. The, my tongue pulled apart, and then he starts sewing it up, sewing it up. Jeez. And he's a, a beast in suturing and sewing up. He told me that he had clients that are like gangsters that would come up to him like yo i just got shot motherfucker like yo clean me up clean me up like, oh so he acquired take, that take, skill take, of, take of yeah pull it out and stitch me up cuz and then he'll make bread like that like he made like like 10 g's off of one bullet into somebody and stitch him up because they dodged the fucking medical yeah. bill they dodged getting uh the police you know exactly, involved yeah. i mean shit dude so that's a hustle yeah, you know? so that was pretty gangster and, and if you look at this guy, bro, you'll be like, man, this guy looks crazy. He has, like, a dish bowl on his bottom lip. Oh, I hate that. It's like, it's like what oh, the fuck? Oh, like, my what, God. What do you put there? Like, you put, like... I'm not, I'm not. <laughs> it's true though, especially the ones who got even bigger ones. Yeah. Like, dude. So I was like, and he has a really pretty girlfriend. So I'm like, damn, I don't. I don't well, what is he know. doing? What is he doing with that? Yeah, is, is yeah, he, what's he doing down there with that fucking thing? <laughs> oh so imagine if you're thinking that how the rest of the world, who's regular degler as yeah. fuck, who barely gets tattoos, and they see that shit. Yeah. So what? What? What are the? Uh, I don't know if you want to open up sexually about it, but what are, what are the pros to splitting your tongue? I mean, obviously you want to stand out, you want to be different. <laughs> you know, you, were, you the, the tongue piercing wasn't enough because too many people started doing yeah. it. I get all that. I mean, to tell you the truth, like you know, the guy that I've kissed, he told me that it, he doesn't really feel it. He doesn't really feel the tongue action, and I'm like, wow, really? I don't know. And then as far as going down there, they they tell me that it doesn't. They don't really feel it either. So I'm like, 
Well, I, I didn't really get it for that. Of course, know? I didn't I think it, that neither. I, yeah. I, I got it just to look cool, you know. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> what's What's the next wild, cool shit that you plan to do? I mean, um, I just want to. I, I I just want to keep on finishing my tattoos. You're not gonna get tatted in the face, though, right? Only if there's like a Mad no. Max, um, fucking apocalypse or some shit like and that. And then it's like you're you're about that. Yeah, Mad Max. We're in a Mad Max. Is this where we're at? Is this where we're at? If Tap we're, me if, up. Yeah, if we're in a Mad Max. The whole fucking thing right there. Right here, across the cheeks, yo. You, you already know what design you want. You got the logo. And then, and then, then I'll bleach the shit out of my hair and make dreads, and I'm good, yo. I'm good. People, I'm glad I'm catching up like y'all are. I'm, I'm finding this out like you guys are. I love it. This, this, this is what I love about the podcast and being able to fucking make my own call who I want to talk to. That, yo, that's wild, man. No, you know what's funny? No, that, seriously, that I, I've, I've I never... I actually invited myself, though. You know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, you can say that, but we, we've been vibing. It can, no, no, but remember, you, you, I'm okay. like, I'm not even, I didn't, you. Okay, let, let's keep it 100. I don't know you well enough to make enough assumptions, but you you, you seem, at least at least on on Instagram, that's the most I can say, because I've, I've only hung out with you three, four, five, seven times, but like fucking 15, 12 years ago, whatever yeah. the hell it was. You 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 seem pretty reserved on Instagram. Mine is posting the pictures of just what you're looking at at the time. Mm -hmm. You don't speak what you're going through. You know how a lot of people speak what they're going through, like the same way you did that with your blue hair, right? Yeah. Excuse me. You did that kind of speaking your emotions. You were speaking that you were blue, you were feeling down, blah, blah, blah. Okay, the majority of the world does that through Instagram or social media. Mm -hmm. When the minute they start posting, the minute they say certain phrases, motivational or sad yeah. or, or godly, they're asking for some type of attention. Reach out to me. Please send me a message. I want to tell yeah. you guys secretly that this, that, this, and that. You haven't done that because I'm very attentive to those details okay, but in I, regards to Instagram. I, I have to say, um, so, I mean, everything I post... You got to read what I say on the bottom, though. You know I mean? do. That's why I'm going to come okay, back to so, this. So, so, so hold on, hold on. So, hold on. So, with what you have posted from what I've been following, here's my best analysis of you. And I know you're going to take this like a fucking G because I know you are. You're dark. Yeah. You're dark. and But I couldn't, but I, I don't even know how to <laughs> gauge what type of darkness because the darkness was like sexual darkness, enlightened darkness, but it was dark. There was always some type of connected to a dark, and, and, and I don't want to confuse people watching and listening. There was always something connected to either gothic, black, sexual, a little bit of devil, little ghost, little something. But then it was connected with beauty, with this, and then you would put phrases in there. Yeah. And then the, the phrases, it, I'm not going to say that it was hidden messages because now that you were trying to hide yeah, something. Yeah, straight, straight but, up. Yeah, but, but it, when I would read it, I was like, damn. Is Nas going through something, or is she really? Is is this what she feels like? You know, and I'm glad you're open to talk about this. By yeah. the way, you know, I really appreciate that. Fucking first time we're hanging out like this, and you want to talk about this, but yeah, you were voicing in 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 a certain way on Instagram um, that you were going through certain things, and and I didn't know how to gauge that, Nas. I didn't know you well enough. What am I gonna yeah. do? Reach out to you, be like, girl, you all no, right? No, hey, but you know what? Let me tell you something. One day, those, this was recent though. I actually really needed to talk to somebody. To talk to somebody and I put it on my, and I put it on my post. Hey, anybody need? I I really need to talk to somebody, to anybody right now. DM me if you if you're if you're able to talk. Yo, you know how many people hit me up? I didn't see that. If I yeah. would have read that, I would have hit yeah, you up. Yeah, yeah, because I really I really needed to talk to somebody and then and, and, um somebody that that reached out that I, thank God that it was somebody that I knew reached out. But there was a whole bunch of people that cared. That and I was like, damn, that's pretty cool. You know what I'm saying? Well, but before I go back to what we were talking about, first of all. That's dope that you reached out like that. Yeah. Most people won't do that. No. I, that's dope that people reached out to you. Yeah. And and they've been following me for years. I, I if I would have seen that, I definitely would have reached out. I don't know how I missed that because I don't follow much people. I got less than two thousand people that I follow. So yeah. every time you post something, I see it. But anyhow, I was just getting to know you, like like maybe about three hundred people that I follow, without knowing you well enough. I'm getting to know you through Instagram. Unfortunately, isn't that a life that we live nowadays, right? You know, nowadays we get yeah, to know hey, people but through let me social tell you, media. Sometimes social media can it, prove exactly wrong. right. So I used to live with a girl that um, I don't even want to do, say the rest, but the beginning, um, she used to make me take pictures of her all the fucking time. And I'm like, bro, are you serious, man? Like, dude, oh, it's for content. It's for content, and that's how I got most of my followers because of her. And I'm like. 
Like, yo, like, I don't even really give a fuck about this shit. Like, yeah, right, right. right. Is the picture right? Right. It's the last picture I'm going to take, bitch. Now, I'm, then, I'm, I'm, just saying, I'm, I'm still trying to force myself to take videos and, and all that stuff. But nonetheless, I'm just saying, I'm as guilty as anybody else. And I don't even think it's guilt. I think um, people who express themselves through whatever, whatever they communicate, it's either through how you talk your body language, oh, your whatever, yeah. and if it's social media, then it's social yeah, media. Like me, I'm, I could read body so, language so, like, like right. 100. So, so because I, I, I couldn't get a hard read on you, and then boom, out of nowhere, you started sending me some random funny shit. Like just random yeah, funny yeah. shit. Funny meme, funny this, what if that, and it was always random, and I'll be laughing my ass off, and I started thinking... I didn't even know Nas had this in her. I thought she was so dark that she couldn't fucking do yeah. some funny shit. <laughs> yeah. So now we're exchanging funny memes. Now yeah. I'll tag, I'll send you something, you send me something, and then we'll just have random, and then I'll send you podcast links. Yeah. And then going back to what you said earlier, oh, you had to push up on you know the podcast. No, you just said out of nowhere, you said, hey, uh, thanks for the podcast link. I'm going to check it out, by the way. Uh, let me know when when you're down to have me on, uh, something <laughs> I like think I'm, brave. I'm a I'm a funny <laughs> bitch. All my friends tell me, and I know we'll have a great conversation. The minute I read that, I was like, <laughs> that's what I want. Cause yo, like for real, like I love podcasting with people that I don't know, and I want to get to know their career. I want to get to know this nerdy shit that they do. I want to get to know this fucked up thing that they went through, or I just want to have a great conversation, man, yeah. with some with somebody who's fucking down to earth. Speaks their their goddamn you know their their lungs out without worrying about being judged, <laughs> yeah. and and it just all happens organic because really, I think that the world is so worried about what people think about them. That it's it's just so superficial, yeah. and no one gets to see the realness I mean, come always, out. It's always one at one point everybody goes through that. They always be worried about what people think about them, but then they're not. You know, when you go through a lot of shit, you're already like, man, if that's what you believe, believe it, bitch. You know what I'm saying? I don't really care. You know what I'm saying? It's like that. Because all you saw was a picture of a, a pretty face, me. When you're hating on me for that, fuck out of here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Listen here, folks. Winter is amongst us. Spring's still a couple of months away. I know you guys are feeling this cool breeze. Why don't you go to blacksheepapparel.shop and go cop you some of the dopest sweaters, hoodies, long sleeve shirts, and everything else you can imagine to make you look fly for this season. Or maybe you're just getting ready for the summer. Or the spring. We got shorts. We got tank tops. We got it all. Make sure you go visit blacksheepapparel.shop to get the flyest gear and to remind the world that you're a proud black sheep. Now, let's get back to the podcast. Okay, so you were talking about you had this story that you wanted to tell. I don't know if it's some type of clarification, but I mentioned the whole I was judging you by your Instagram, like as I do everybody. And um, you you said okay, hold on, I got a story about that. All right, elaborate. What, All right, what's this about? So so I have this one post right that um, it it, may, it makes me actually look like a crazy bitch, but um, stop. But the thing, <laughs> but the thing is, I like I got so mad because that okay that day, um, some guy hollered at me to go on a date, right? And he was he was handsome. He he had, he had like nice things, nice cars or whatever the fuck. So I mean, fuck it, let me let me go hang out with him. You know what I'm saying? So I, I'm here expecting a nice fucking dinner type shit, right? Because he had nice things. Yeah, right. So he, you no, know, because he even said it. But he's making very, he was making reservations at a nice place, and I'm like, okay, okay. So then he's like, oh, um, when we were getting old, my friend said he couldn't make a reservation for us. You want to go to the buffet? I was like, man, I don't not eat no more fucking buffets, though. Straight up, like, I'm not a buffet type of bitch. I get okay. That's, I get. You know what I'm saying? I so he said, like, oh, okay, that's fine. Um, we go to my house. I said, but let me tell you something. If you bring me inside your motherfucking house, I'm going to grab the kitchen knife and I'm going to stab you, dog. Shut the fuck up. Don't fucking try me. Take me back home. This podcast just took a weird turn. Yeah. Uh, okay. I told him like what? that. I told him like that because I was who? you don't even know me, guy. Holy shit. You're so hard. So you dead ass serious about Yes, I told him that. So, okay. I, I was waiting until later to fucking talk about like, you know, uh, goods and the goods and bads about relationships and attempts and first dates and all that. But you just fucking threw this shit you out the because window. Of, because I saw so if a dude asked you, I don't know, I don't know if he was respectful about it or what, but no, man, if, he a lied. Dude, if a dude, if a dude, I could tell that he lied. Okay, so about you the, about the first so you, reservation. Oh, okay, okay. And then trying to take me to a buffet. Yeah. Okay, and then and then once you said no to the buffet, he said his house. So in other words, you realize real quick he was just trying to get you to the crib and fuck. Yes. Okay, but please say something like that because if not, motherfuckers like me and other good <laughs> other good dudes out there, they're gonna be like, "Are you telling me that I 
it's a bad thing if I say, hey, can I cook you dinner? Are you down with coming over I for mean, dinner? Bro, this guy is that always a bad this, time? Do you think that's a so, bad time? He's so He lives so far from me, though. Like, if it was a guy that was, like, close by me, I mean, my mom got my location and shit, <laughs> you know, that's different. But this guy lives so far. This is hilarious. And I'm All like, right, I'm like, like right. I had some shit up, and, and I posted it, too. And the post, I'm here looking at and I have a, a fucking, my bad, I have a kitchen knife. And I'm like, you take me to your house on a first day, get ready for me to stab you. And I posted it, and everybody's like, damn, girl, like, what the fuck, it's been crazy. Okay. Nah, <laughs> you are a little crazy. You are a little crazy, Okay. That's, uh, I mean, I, I get it that if you want to call the guy out and be like, all right, this motherfucker here, from the beginning. His car didn't even have a radio. Okay, so there you go. So, so But then the, all, of, all of a sudden, when I was already cl close to my neighborhood, the radio started working. It was super weird. I'll tell you what, man. Listen, just because I'm hearing this and, and everybody's listening, if y'all think, if, especially women, women, ladies, if you think... There's no way, shape, or form that you should ever end up in a guy's house. Was this the first date? It was the first date, yeah. It was the first date. Okay. I get it if it's the first date, but I do. I really do. I want to ask. I want to ask. Is it 100% red flag? Hell no. Can't do it. Guys, don't ask it. Don't try it. Are you guys, I'm asking the women, are you guys saying don't ever try to get a female to your house on the first date even if it's cooking dinner and doing all that because that is way too extra and it just screams, I'm trying to fuck. Is that what it is? Is that what it is? Yeah, Pretty much? Yeah, man. Okay. Okay. Hey, man. Listen, I'm jotting down notes. I, I hope the fellas are too. And if majority of women think like that, then that's something that we, you know, we, we need to. I mean, like, if the guy, you know, like, would have approached things more differently, but he, for, I could tell he was lying about the reservation. Okay, but see what you just said? No, not, listen to me, hon. L listen to what you just said, right? If he would approach it differently. So this is why I want to make sure now. Maybe he might have been too hood, too this, too that. Maybe, maybe you, you just saw he was so full of shit from one point to another that it threw you off. But what I'm asking you, erase that motherfucker. If, if a guy was like, hey, um, listen, I'm not, I don't know, I don't go out a lot to restaurants. I'm sure there's a lot of great ones out there. It's not my thing. If that's what you would like to do, that's fine. You can choose a restaurant. Or, if you'd like, I love to cook. I love to cook. Okay. I'm pretty, I'm pretty, yeah, goddamn, no, pretty yeah. goddamn good at it. I'm not trying to overstep my boundaries, but if you're okay with it, yeah, I'd no, like to I'll invite go. you over the house. It's not, okay, is, is, that, is that? No, I, I think I'll go. I mean, if he seems sincere and stuff like that, but I'm still going to bring my gun with me. <laughs> you know what I mean? All right, I'm okay with that though. Yeah. I'm okay with. Matter of fact, you can still bring the knife that you were fucking doing that wild shit for. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. But I just, I'm just trying to reach out to the fellas out there listening. Like, damn, but I think there's a good bunch of us out there that doesn't feel like if you're genuine about it, yeah, that that's not a a, a bad or disrespectful <laughs> move, especially if you are good in the kitchen. I'm good in the kitchen. <laughs> I'd rather impress you with my cooking skills and make it real organic and chill than so formal and trying to you know do the whole dinner thing anyhow yeah, no, actually I, I actually started getting good in the kitchen recently because my mom she goes to chile a lot <clears throat> chilena by the way y'all she's crazy because she's like, chilena i don't know chilena. Where, the, where, where the chilenos at i don't know i wear the backbone of south america <laughs> that's true but, but you know my my grandfather is he's he's like not good right now he's like in his last days and stuff so my mom is like the only one that like really cares about him and treats him like how how he should be treated, and she's always over there. You know what I'm saying? I love her for that. But my dad is like, like I always gotta get an approval for shit that I cook. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm always in the kitchen, like stirring stirring the pots, doing all these type of things and shit to make sure that. And what? It, what? So but, she's she's over there visiting Abuelo, and now and while I'm, you're trying to cook I, for your dad, I'm trying to cook for my dad. So he's I'm, over here judging your ass because he's used to yeah, so, mom's so, so fire I'm, of cooking. I mean, I'm here like trying to make like some like, <laughs> like I'm a chef type shit, right? Like you know, right. a little pinch of this, a little pinch of that. You know what I'm saying? And I cook something, and then if he tells me he likes it, I say, oh shit, mission completed, <laughs> mission fucking completed, yo, fuck. You know what I'm saying? Because if he, if he thinks it's bad, then I'm like, oh, fuck. Do you, do you, let me ask you. Do you think men are very, you know, we were having, we had like, a, uh, to be clear with everybody, we had like a little 30-minute conversation before we started recording. In that quick amount of time, I've only know whatever it is that I know. We briefly spoke about it. How do you feel about your typical man in regards to his, um, how men are in general? 
And first, at first, when we started the conversation, you immediately started just blasting, just pop, 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 pop. I'm like, come on, nah. You know, you sounded like a heartbroken chick. And then you you pulled it back, and then you're like, all right, cool. Yeah. And then you, then, then you became more specific about it. But you think men are a little bit too critical? Do you think men, if you don't mind me, you're how old right now? I'm 40. 40. So you've been through plenty at 40. That's a nice, tender, middle age, okay? Yeah. You've had your relationships. You have a, a, a kid who's who's... Uh, of, of a adolescent age, he's six you, two, six two, big boy. You know you've had your fair share of, of experiences, and I and I truly think people who have, have gone through more than your average person, I, I I think I love their opinion a lot more. I'm not saying that those who haven't had a lot of experiences that their opinion doesn't matter. Of course, everybody's opinion matter, but when you've been through some shit, to me, your opinion means a lot more. So, do you think like men? are very difficult. Do you feel that you have a chance at finding love? Do you feel like relationships are dead? Do you feel like things have changed around? And this is asking somebody who you have admitted it, and I have assumed it, you come from a level of darkness. You kind of like that darkness. And I do want to get into that after, after this, you know, uh, you answer this right here. But how do you feel about men and relationships and all that moving forward? Okay, so first of all, um, I'm always going to be me, so I don't want a guy trying to change me. Okay. Because if you automatically tell me you don't like skulls, I'm sorry. Skulls. It ain't going to work, man. Skulls. It's not going to work. I'm sorry. Because <laughs> I love skulls. I love it. Yeah. And then, you love skulls so much that if a guy can vibe with yeah, skulls. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, if, like if we're going to move in together, he's like, no, but the skulls got to go. I'm like, I'm going too. Okay, so, so hold on. So hold on. Look, so, I, got, I, got, I bought myself a ring. It has okay. Little, it has little skulls how, on it. How far? <laughs> but Nas, how far does it go if somebody's living with you, right? How, well, how many? How many? How, how many skulls are you gonna? Are you gonna put? Uh, how many skulls are you gonna put around the house? How bad yeah, is it gonna be with skulls? Not bad. You know what I'm saying? It's like more modern. Stuff or, okay, so you're not gonna have like skull lanterns no, and a no, fucking no. sticker no. of a skull in the microwave. That's, that's tacky, you know? Okay. 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 Yeah. But um, also, um, I'm a really difficult person because um, since I've been alone so much, I'm used to being alone. So, um, you know, if a guy wants to be like I know so or whatever, I mean, I'm, I'll be like, hey, man, right now, like, I'm I'm not that girl for you right now. Maybe a little later in the relationship, maybe we last. You know, I'll get a little more más cariñosa and shit. But, like, I've been alone for so long. It's like I don't have that, like, getting too, like, close too fast type shit, you know? I'm not trying to completely spark up some some weird ass therapy session, but <laughs> but but I'm trying to do what I think I'm I'm I'm, I'm going to speak for a lot of the fans, a lot of the followers, a lot of subscribers. By the way, I love you motherfuckers. Thank you. Keep supporting. I appreciate y'all. Um I I feel like they're going to ask this. I feel like this is in their mind, so I want I want to do it for them. It sounds like there's a there's a there's somewhere a, a depth of pain there. It sounds like there's some resentment, some something there that makes you not want to open up. Whether it's heartbreak, whether it's an upbringing, a combination. I mean, I'm a Capricorn. Oh, don't you throw that fucking <laughs> Capricorns are you? Know? Here we go with that shit right there. I can I have I have not met a man yet. I have not met a man, a man yet. A man Capricorn? Who 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 no who fucking refers to the goddamn horoscope as a way to uh, define why they are the way they are. Well, why why women, is it that? Women? I swear to God. And if it's a guy, don't ban me, YouTube. I'm just saying this for entertainment reasons. If it's a guy and he was referring to horoscopes as a way to describe why they are the way they are, I think he was probably gay. I, mean, I, mean, I think he was probably gay, to be honest with you. Know, yeah. but the thing is that like, I look at Capricorn characteristics and it's like, bro, it's just is self-explanatory. No, Same. fuck that. Listen, we all been through some shit, and whatever you've been through is gonna is gonna help define why you are the way you are. I don't know what you've been through, but you do sound like you've had some fucking hardships that have made you a little bit sour to open it up to guys. Yeah, and you might be attracted to the wrong type. By the way, mm -hmm. shout out to my my sister. I love you, Nisa. What's up, sweetie? I was talking Can about I Nisa. Uh, of course, go ahead. Shout out to my papito, Reisito. I love you so much, papi. Who's that? Is that your son? My son. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Um, so I was talking to Nisa, and I told you about her, you know, and I told Nisa at some point, she's attracted to a certain kind of uh, of dude. 
And, and that certain type of dude, on average, tends to be a fucking thug, a drug dealer. No, she doesn't want that. She's not into drugs or drug dealing. She's into responsibility and all accountability, and she's an awesome woman. But she's into those tatted up, and I don't want to say too much because I fucking look it, but tatted up, been through some shit, bearded, this, that, whatever, whoop de woo <laughs> And a lot of times when we look like this, it doesn't come with, you know, with the best uh, history I check. I say something about the tattoos on, on women. Okay. So, Go ahead. She's tied it up too. Yeah, super tied it. Um, so I hate it when guys come up, like not come up to me, but like message me or like, you know, say something about me being like a like a woman that would be that that is just a woman in their fantasies. I'm like, what? If anything, I'll be a woman in your nightmare, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, don't be thinking about being on no fantasy. So hold on. So is it a? You think it's an insult because? Yeah. Because, I don't want to be no fantasy. Nah. <laughs> nah, see, this with the darkness. Let's go back to the darkness. See, this is what I'm talking about, man. This is, now we go I don't over. know, man. I feel like, that, like, oh, you just see me as a girl that you're going to jack off to and shit? Okay, you uh, took it sexual, but yeah, I, I get it, the whole fantasy yeah. thing, right. But may, maybe they meant it. I can't stick up for these motherfuckers because <laughs> you know what? You're right. The majority of them yeah. are being perverted and they're yeah, talking about, sure. okay, so I'm not sticking up for them, but... It also might be like outside of my world, outside of my regular ass world with my regular ass wife and my three fucking kids. And yeah, I love them, but I've been with them for goddamn 27 years and blah, 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 blah. You are a fantasy to me. I love my wife and all that, yeah, but but you know what? But, but I wish that she would dye her hair. I wish that she would Cosmo I dress have like or nine whatever. Different all that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I could dress up into anything that your little heart desires. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh my god with the fucking uh what's that the hardy quinn laugh <laughs> well we got the hardy quinn laugh we got all kind of shit <laughs> listen Nas. yeah i get it i get i get your reasoning behind that some females will be like uh they'll be turned down by it they'll be like yeah because i ain't no basic bitch because yeah. i'm not your little average ass wife you know I but I understand where you're, I think, I would understand where you'd be like, hey, don't put me on that level where I'm only a fantasy and not just, yeah, you, know, you know. You know why I think I, I, I think like that? Because I feel I'm uh, like, I'm more like a dominant woman, you know, like a dominatrix type of girl. So talk to me about that. Is that a kink of yours? <laughs> yeah. I, I call it a kink. I don't know what to call no, it. Yeah, Freakiness I, or yeah, kinkiness. Yeah, a kink for sure. Um, I don't know. I, just, I feel like I turned on by torturing guys. And some this guys is like fucking... to be tortured. God damn. Yeah, guys like to be treated like shit sometimes. And it's true. I have proof. Now, does, do you notice this right away from the demeanor of how they talk to you and all that? Or do you catch it only when it gets sexual? No. I, or when I, they admit I, I, it? I read body language real good. And then also, there's, I could tell when they have low self-esteem and all that. You and know? somewhere there, it fuels you. Yeah, and I'm like, oh, I could, I could take this. You become time. a predator. Yeah, or, or if, I, if a badass guy says, "Oh, I have no fear. I don't, I don't, I don't feel nobody." I'm like, "Oh, really, though?" You start thinking, "I'm gonna stick let, my let, finger in your butt." Let me tell you up real quick. <laughs> let me tie you up real quick. And let's see how much fear you don't tie want. you up real quick. God, you know what I'm saying? I'll, I'll put some fear in your ass. Whoa, <laughs> shit! All right. So on that note. <laughs> how often does that happen? How often does that happen that I don't, I don't, I don't mean uh, putting fingers in somebody's ass? I mean, how often does it happen where you kind of bring, you pull a guy's man card? How often, you know, uh, uh, let's let's say uh, every three guys that you date, okay, every three guys that you date. That doesn't mean just one date, but every three guys after three guys that you've gotten to know in some dating form. In that number ratio, how often do you meet a guy that, oh, I can break him and I will, or you did break him, or they want to be broke? No, well, I mean, like, for the last relationship I had, I didn't really break him, but I was really bitchy. I was a, I was the biggest bitch, right? And he would listen to everything that I got that I to say, and he will try to compromise with me 100%. But sometimes, like, when it came to sexual things, I'll be like, like... <clears throat> You gotta have that shit ready for me right now. Like I don't, you know, it has to be ready. You know what I'm saying? And if it's not ready, I can help you get it ready. And then I'll, I'll start doing like some some kinky shit that he's never ever done before. 
And then, you know, then then we're ready for it. You feel me? <laughs> I don't, don't want to get into details and shit. Yeah, you don't. You don't have to. Uh, <laughs> but I mean, you could too. Though I don't care. But, um, but I'm saying though. So, I mean, more like, how often did you did you feel like you brought that uh, that side out of a guy that he normally doesn't want to admit? I don't want to say the bitch out of a man, you know, because I don't know. <laughs> then it's just gonna sound like people are gonna want to try me on that. I mean, I think only as far like right now, three guys. I, I, like my, that were my exes. Do you think? Do you think more guys would like to get fondled? Do you think more guys would like to do that wild, whatever, somewhat freaky shit? And they I just mean, don't. They just don't I mean, because like, of the ego or I mean, some shit like that. Choose like like me. Like if if I'm if I'm considered like a goddess, then that's that's what that's what, that's where it's at. You know what I'm saying? So if you consider me as a goddess and I could just treat you like a little peasant or something like that. This is, this is the best, you know. So, so if a dude is, is is digging you and he gives you that goddess feeling, like, oh, girl, you the shit, and and I'm subordinate or I'm I'm inferior to you. Yeah, I'm inferior I'm to you. Yeah, you 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 fuel up on that, and if they're at least yeah. good looking enough, if they're cool enough, if they're whatever yeah, enough, and then and then, and then you I do take the extra over. Shit. Then you go. <laughs> I get a little collar and get a little. You know what I'm saying? Shut the fuck up! You okay. literally have collar somebody. Yeah. Nas. Yeah. Okay, let's go back to the darkness talk. <laughs> <laughs> you don't just call her people up and get I into that to, shit out of a, nowhere. I used to be a hostess for these these parties called submission parties, and, and it was these parties were really nice. But um, <clears throat> they were really nice. Yeah, really, they're actually, actually really nice because everybody is respectful. Yeah, they're all submissive. Like, <laughs> like uh, I remember when I used to work at European Wax Center. Um, I invited my girls with me to go with me, right? And they were like, oh, "We're gonna have a party." <laughs> Yeah, it's a, it's a Christmas party, so you gotta dress like a Christmas um character, and every, all the regular Schmidtger bitches are like elves and fucking um Santa, <laughs> Miss Santa, and Santa Claus. And all of shit. course, of course. You know course. who I was? What? I was the fucking ice queen, man. You know? What oh I mean? yeah. I was just like a straight up ice. I had a white wig with a white fluffy jacket, looking at, at like fucking glitter all over my face, and so I looked like the ice queen. It, there were no ice queens in there. So I was you the stood only out. one. I was the only one. You were black sheeping like a motherfucker. Yeah. So then my friends, when they got up in the fucking place, they were like, Nas, what the fuck, yo? This place is creepy as fuck. I'm like, bro, they ain't going to do nothing to you unless you give them permission, all right? So that's all I got to say, yo. Don't give them permission. Do you want possession? But was this, was this a swingers club? Was no, it, what? no, it's not swingers. It's, it's, it was just it's, promoted it's, that night. That's the way it was. Just, it's just a party. It's just a party. People be having fun, you know, but it, but it's respectful. Because they ask for permission, you know what I'm saying? Right. Okay. They they don't they don't do shit like a local, you know what I'm saying? So since you since you're admitting this fucking kickiness that you have, when 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 do you feel like it came about? When did you know that you were into that little extra shit than your average homegirl? Mm. Without admitting it or after talking to one of them, just when did you realize, damn, my homegirls, none of them are talking about this. I'm over here getting punched. I don't know, man. During sex, I felt, I felt kind of weird one day when I said I wanted a sex doll, and my friends were like, "What?" Like a female sex doll? I'm like, yeah, I think I want one. Like, so I was like as a Barbie and shit. What? Because uh, <laughs> I, I, I've always had Barbies, and I felt like that's when it started with the Barbies. Hold on, now hold they on. they make life-size Barbies. But hold on. Okay, so now, are you, are you bisexual? Yeah. Okay, well, I, I didn't know that. All right, so <laughs> you you wanted a sex doll, but the I, female version. I saw version. a show of this funny comedian girl. I forgot her name, but she did a show. Uh, It was about this... Uh, this um. This uh, sex doll, right? That her husband owned. Fuck, and she, I think and she, I know you're talking and about. She Go. found it, right? Okay, she okay. Found it, and she got like all insecure about it. Like, what the fuck she got with me? Like, what the fuck she got with me? Right. And then the sex doll starts talking to her, talking all this shit. Like, oh, your man likes me more than you, bitch. And shit. And I'm like, what the fuck? So then she ends up breaking the bitch's arm. And then she's like, fuck, my, my husband's going to know that I got the, the that I was playing with the doll. The doll, yeah. So she went ahead and goes to the sex store and tries to repair the bitch. And it was just, bro, this is a funny ass story, man. And Damn, like, you can't remember who it was, huh? I forgot the name of that girl, man. If I if I had a if I had a Jamie right now in the studio, he'll look it up for us. Yeah. Bro. Not yet, not yet. No, no, but I'll find I'll find out. I'll text it to you. Um, but it's a really funny story, really funny story. Um they ended up, they ended up getting along at the end. Um, but um But you feel like obviously you're trying to say like there's nothing wrong with it. Of course, no, there's nothing wrong with that. No, I mean, when you're when you're sex, when you wouldn't mind having a sex off. It's like it's almost like saying you know, it's kind of crazy. I, I don't have these conversations with, with the homeboys, but I know that we could. It's almost like, all right, if if the fellas talk about jacking off, 
fellas are just easily gonna be like, like you, you can see it on Joe Rogan podcast. You, you hear it amongst friends. If you know, if you, if you got a boyfriend or a brother or whatever, you know, oh yeah, man, yeah, I jerk my dick to this, jerk my dick to that, this, this, and that. All right, cool. Is jacking off or masturbating for women mm -hmm. same thing? Um, if it's that common amongst all of us, what's the big deal about stepping it up and vibrator? Right. So you guys can do all kinds of different vibrators. No big deal. It's only a big deal when you're fucking vibrating with a goddamn 10-inch, you know, mendingo of a, of a fucking vibrator. <laughs> and for guys, it's no big deal of jacking off until you have a flashlight. No, until you have like that thing that The flashlight, like flashlight. Yes, the flashlight. Yeah, exactly. Flashlight. Like is is that Does it have a booty too? Uh, that's no, point. that's way extra. Holy shit. But I know it exists. I know it does exist. Look, they had one I saw one time. That was like, that, that one was like a real one for me. But uh, it, it had, I was like, I looked at it. I was like, hmm, I think this is a good one, though. <laughs> so I looked at it. had a dick and had some fat titties. Oh, and I was like, shit. I'll be riding the dick and holding the what titties. What the fuck? Are you serious, Nas? Yeah, yo. But that my, had to be an expensive friend, ass. And, yeah, and my friend was like, yo, what the fuck is wrong with you, Nas? I'm in... Bro, it's the best, nigga. I'm holding some fat titties and, and yeah. fucking a fat dick. Like, yeah, what yeah. the fuck? You should have said, girl, I'm, I'm about to be 40. I'm just getting ready. No, I know. That, <laughs> I wasn't even turning 40 that, day, that, that, that year. So, now, so young. okay. So, huh, huh, okay, hold huh, nah, on. Nah, let me journey a little bit deeper into this. Are you that sexually driven that you're not getting enough of it? Or was it that for whatever reason, whether you're the problem or, or guys were the problem or girls were the problem, you just weren't dating enough to satisfy no, your, I got, your, your yeah, sexual you know drive. I, don't, I, I, don't really, I really don't need no one because I feel like I... But I, at that time, I know now I you don't, but at the time... I myself enough for me to forget about everybody. But at that time, nah. What time? When, that, when you were fucking thinking about getting that goddamn sex robot or whatever. Oh, no, that's now. <laughs> I'm going to get the sex star now. <laughs> When God I, damn, I, so all I that, that just happened? When I, I saw like, that movie, I was like, damn, why don't I get a sex doll now? I want one now. My mom's going to chip out, though. Oh, my mom comes Lordy. Over, she's going to chip out. You ain't never going to, that's it. You know, you, the shop is closed after that. You're never going to date after that. What do you mean, man? With, a, with, a, with titties and dick waiting for you at no, home? No, man, I'm not having my sex doll with a dick, man. Maybe a detachable one or some shit. But if... <laughs> Come on, man. Oh, man, this is officially the wildest podcast ever that I've had, bro. <laughs> you telling me, I thought you said the thing came together. Okay, so the one that I saw in the in the cabinet or the fucking shit, it was together. It was it was like one that you can ride or whatever, but the sex dolls are complete. Right. You could change what they have down there. You could change it to a rose Roast beef pussy, you could change to a fucking <laughs> tight pussy. You could fucking change to a big dick, a micro penis. You could change to a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? And all these extra things cost more money. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Like it all adds up. <laughs> it all adds up. And you're damn. I I think it, I think it's dope that that you're so uh, you're so free willed. You're so open to talk like that. To, to I think I should be like a like a sex toy reviewer. Oh, you know what? That well. If there any, Damn, any jobs so I, out there? That's any a, jobs out there for that? That's a great, me, that's a me, great plug. Best. You know what? We're going to do this officially right now. I think that is an actual great idea. Yeah, I think I'd be great at that for sure. That is a great idea, man. Holy shit. I was about to give you a compliment for being so open to admit yeah. what you were just admitting, but you just totally smashed that into the ground by, <laughs> by so just hiring, promoting. Anybody hiring a, se a sex toy reviewer? How that's your girl? Ding, ding. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, you crazy people out there? Let me interrupt this podcast really quick just to give you a reminder. If you really like the gear that I'm rocking and you're a proud black sheep yourself, make sure you go check out blacksheepapparel.shop where you can get all the dopest gear to help remind the world that you truly are a proud black sheep. We got caps, T-shirts, tank tops, shorts, sweaters, hoodies, I mean, you name it, we got it on there. Make sure you go show some love, show your support, and represent what you really are. Go to blacksheepapparel.shop. Now back to the podcast. So I'll, I'll tell you what, Nas. I, I want to I do this because it comes out of me organically. It comes out of me because I'll admit that I, I, I feel I'm, I'm the same way. But right now it's going to come out of me even more because coincidentally, earlier on today before I, I came back, to the studio to do the podcast. 
Um, I told you earlier, I said, hey, can we start a little bit later? I'm at a barbecue. I'm at a friend's barbecue. Yeah, no, it's perfect for me. Right. So, and that one caught me by surprise that I was there that long. <clears throat> the reason I was there that long, because we started getting into a vibe. It was a kid's, it was a kid's birthday party. Yeah, yeah. But the adults started getting into a vibe, right? And it, it happened. And when, and when, there, when there's a vibe. Yeah, yeah right? You don't want to mess it up. Yeah. Exactly. It's all about that energy, yeah. right? Yeah. So, we were on a vibe, and I can't, I can't, I can't uh, recite details as to how it started, but it was basically I started spilling some beans. Somewhere there I started spilling some beans. Mm -hmm. And um, I told uh, I told it was it was the homeowner, my 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 homeboy Izzy, his wife, uh -huh. his wife was right in front of me. Izzy was here, and then two people that I just met, and Adam. Adam was the homeowner. It was his kid who was having a party, and I started talking about um, we were talking about parenting and so on and so forth and so on and so forth, and and somewhere there I got to like, hey guys, listen, you know um. I never. I don't want to step out of boundaries, you know, with, with with my opinion on parenting because I'm not a parent. But I know that I know my opinion counts because I got a niece. I have a nephew. I have two nieces. I have a nephew. I've been teaching kids for a long time. I know I'm a positive influence. Yeah, for sure. But I also know that parents can get, you know, weird about shit when you try to tell them about how they handle their children and all that. So I know where to bite my tongue and so on and so forth. But. And then somewhere there, that conversation led into me admitting what I've been through in life. And I said it in a quick fire, in a quick fire fashion that came out of nowhere. I go, listen, you guys don't know me like that. I know that Izzy knows this, but you guys don't know this. I just want to get this out the way. Okay. And, I, and I told him really quick, I said, I'm a three-time convicted felon. Mm -hmm. I did five years in prison, and the other two times I went to jail, and, and so on and so forth. And it taught me a lot, and blah, 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 blah. And they, all their jaws dropped, and so on and so forth. And um, <laughs> anyhow, I knew they wanted to ask questions. I told them, go ahead, you know. And, and, and I got a little bit deeper into why, you know, I went here, and I did this, and I did that, and whatever. And they were just, you know, they were, they were super cool about it. They were so acceptive. And then, boom, Adam, and shout out to Adam. I know he's watching the podcast. It really touched Adam. It's live. This this just happened three hours you know ago. What I'm saying? This is live. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Awesome. No, no, it's not live. Like no, 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 no. Okay, I just yeah. know that he'll be watching when, oh, okay, when okay. it comes out. Okay. Um, Adam started having a moment where I, <clears throat> I guess, I guess he's not used to meeting somebody or seeing somebody admit such things. Yeah. And I did it respectfully. I didn't do it boastfully because there's nothing to boast about. Yeah, yeah. It's nothing to fucking brag about. It was a dumbass decision that yeah, I made yeah. and, oh, yeah, and shit, sure. you know. But. He appreciated that I was willing to talk about it so openly and to do so with no shame. Yeah. And that was the big topic. And the topic was, and I even mentioned The Last Samurai, the movie. I don't know if you've ever yeah, seen, I've it. seen it. So I mentioned The Last Samurai, and I said, man, I thought there was this epic moment where the uh, Japanese guy, the samurai, the last samurai, the head guy, he was telling Tom Cruise, he's like, you know, I hear that you have nightmares all the time and that you barely get any sleep. And he told him, he's like, how do you know that? He's like, well, my sister-in-law is is the house that you sleep in. And she tells me that she can hear you screaming and so on and so forth. And then Tom Cruise gave a weird excuse. He said, you know, yeah, you know, I have a problem, this, this, and that. And, and, the, and the Japanese guy tells him, nah, the only time people have nightmares is when they're ashamed of something they did. Mm. And I And that was a moment, you know, that I remember when I saw that movie and I thought, man... When when people hold back on shame, things that they feel shameful of, yeah. it's a torture. It's it's, oh, yeah. it's it's like holding a grudge. Yeah, exactly. It's like holding a it's torturing yeah, you. That, you know, when and, my ex boyfriend and, broke my heart, like it hurt me so much. But I didn't want to hate him. I didn't want to hold a grudge on him because I I knew that was gonna kill me slowly. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I let it go and I forgave him. Right. Oh, right. Stay the fuck away from me. You feel me? And I, and and I'm, and I'm <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You ain't gangster with it, but and I'm not that religious guy to be like, oh, forgive and forget, because I don't know what the fuck forgive means. But regardless, it, it was it was obvious that he realized, damn, I, I'm not used to somebody disclosing this type of personal shit, and it yeah. touched him because he has a lot that he's holding in. Yeah, he's holding in. Yeah. And, and he's not, he's not, he doesn't feel comfortable like, opening up to people. And, and again, I want to give him a huge shout out, man. And Adam, and I appreciate you opening up to me. I was getting ready to leave about, about 20 minutes later after that that incident, that conversation. I was like, hey, guys, I got to do a podcast. I got to go home, you know, fix shit up, this, that, woo-dee-woo. And Excuse me, I, I went inside. Yeah, I went inside. 
No, I didn't. Okay. I, w- I went inside to say bye to everybody, and I saw him inside, and I said, hey, Adam, I'm gone, brother. Man. This is not. And he held my hand, and, you know, he, he gave me a quick little talk, and he pretty much just said, hey, man, I just want to let you know that I'm not trying to, like, get all weird with the moment, but I really appreciate you opening up like that because mm-hmm. I know that there's a lot of shit that I want to open up, and I hold back on it. I hold back on it because, I don't know, it depends on who I'm with, when I'm feeling it, how mad am I? Am I raging? Am I drunk? Am I this? Am I that? And he's a police officer. Yeah. Oh. And he's been exactly. You see that? Yeah, was a lot Ex- exactly. You I've see that? A lot of stuff in. And I, I and I would never hate on the blue man. Shout out to all the officers, especially the good ones out there. You know, th- there's a lot that they go through. There's a lot that they see, and people don't ever give them enough credit. Like they really don't. They just think the whole asshole shit, the George Floyd shit, the yeah. this and that, but they don't realize. <laughs> These guys are just getting pumped with nothing but negativity yeah. and, and death and, and anyhow. Yeah. So he had a moment with me that I wasn't expecting. I was, I was, I was, he was holding my hand. I'm just getting ready to leave. And, he's, and he teared up. He teared up. I've never had a deep-ass conversation with this man. As cool as we are and we've chilled several times, he teared up and, and, and told me, you know, I appreciate when people open up because I know that there's a lot of, you know, deep things that I want to open up and I never do. And that's when his voice cracked up mm. and they wanted to come out. And I thought, wow. Yeah, when voices cracked up. Yeah. And this really is a 40 year old man, successful, <clears throat> awesome 40 year old man, and a police officer of many years. And this was happening. And all I thought was, Damn, I don't know what's up with the wife. I don't know what's up with the friends. I don't yeah. know what I don't know what but nobody with, says nothing. He but no know. one has allowed him, has made him feel comfortable enough to talk about to it. just fucking let it rip, bro. Mm-hmm. I don't care if it's the homies and let's all cry. Let's yeah. let's get drunk, motherfucker, and let if you want, let's all let's all but he needs to let I saw it. I saw it for that quick moment. Yeah. And when the tears came, he's like, Hey man, forget about this, man. And I, and I just thought, damn, I don't want to make him feel awkward. So I just gave him a hug and I just said, hey, brother, I appreciate you appreciating me. I know exactly what you're talking about. I know what you're you know, you going through. And I can't wait till we hang out again. I bring that up because I want to pass that on to you. It's kind of like I want to give you your flowers. I appreciate that you're so open about, you know, the way you are and how you feel and all that. Because people don't, they just don't do that. Mm-hmm. And when they don't open up enough, then those who aren't opening up, they feel like they're alone. No, no, for real. Like, like sometimes I feel alone sometimes, like. <clears throat> I'm not gonna lie, like I'll be, I'll text like ten different people, right? And only one texts me back, but it's about a job or something. I'm like, damn, I'm, yeah. a, I'm a lonely ass bitch, huh? Yeah. So hey, at least I got a therapist. You know what I'm saying? She calls me like once a week and shit. Now at least she talks to me, shit. Okay. Nah, but my friends they be telling me, man, man, my bad, man, I was doing this. I, I, no, I understand, dude. It's just, I need you right now, right there. I need you, but it's okay. You know what I'm saying? You 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 said you're 40. You've been through a lot. You're smart enough to do a little bit of self analysis. Yeah, for sure. I I'm I'm I'm, actually, I'm, um, I'm only asking you this because I feel comfortable enough that you're comfortable enough replying to it. Mm-hmm. Through your self analytics. What do you what what, what do you think is going on? What it, what is it that's bothering you? What is it that makes you feel down? What is it that has you in these these dark moments? You, you 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 told me you would love to be in love the same way I would love to be in love, but at the same time you sound dark as fuck. Like fuck these niggas, like fuck these dudes, and blah 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 blah. Mm-hmm. And I and I rather put them in leashes and 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 bow them down. This and that. I'm telling you, shout out shout out to <laughs> Francesca. I know she's watching, <laughs> aka Sheena. She's about to win the power slap. Shout out to Sheena. Um, <laughs> that was such a great podcast with her, and and she told me off camera, off camera. And and this this glow, this joy came out of her about how she loves to dominate men, because they fed her ego. They told her, "I want you to whoop my ass. I want you to slam me. I want oh, you to goddess, beat me up. I want, I want you to do this. Yes, goddess, I'll do and that then, for you, then, goddess. And it gets a, and, it, and it gets yes, addictive. Goddess. It becomes addiction, right? Yeah, I love it. I love it when they pull my clothes. So so that they <laughs> <laughs> goddamn Sims. So that, is it is it too late that that fuck you up? Because just just a minute ago you were talking about you would like to fall in love, but which one's better, falling in love or, or controlling men and just you know having that dominatrix? Man, you know, it's like. Right now, I feel like I'm just enjoying the dominatrix part right now because... Okay, you're admitting that. That's cool. Yeah. I'd be falling in love with other things like books and fucking movies and 
<laughs> and little cute characters and shit, you know what I mean? <laughs> That's 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 another type of love, you know. What the hell brought you to this fucking <laughs> to this point in life, Nas? God damn, man. I mean, like, look, like, look. If you look at my room, it's all like some gothic guys shit, right? All skulls everywhere. But then you look at my bed, it's all it's all cuddle pals. It's all these fluffy ass cuddle pals that I sleep with. That's the squishies, real squishies, plushies. And then yesterday, I had to do a tattoo on my friend's um my friend's daughter. And I look at her, I'm like, you look, are you gothic? Yeah, she, she said, yeah, I'm real gothic. I'm like, Let me see your room. She said, show me her room. I'm like, yo, I have this, I have this How old room. is this daughter? She's 21. Okay, thank you. So I was like, yo, I have like the same room, except like, you got Hello Kitty and I got Cuddle Pals. You know what I mean? It's so funny. You, you know, know, you know, this makes me think, uh, once again, I'm trying to, I'm trying to speak out for uh, the fellas watching right now. This is why we don't understand women, man. <laughs> whole room is just got this like this is like a woman, right? Just whole room is gothic. Everything about you just just black and dark and uh. yeah, it's so but sexy. but that but that bed is all googity googity yeah, yeah, like, yeah, what like, the fuck? Like, we can like, never like, tell where y'all what y'all are feeling. I even have two pillows that are, that look like Xanax. That there was this company that was like oh making goodness. them. They were making pillows out of Percocets <laughs> and Xanax. Like, oh, as long as you post a picture of it with you. We'll, we'll give you two free pillows. I'm like, for sure. I thought they were going to give you Xanax for free. No, no, no. Okay. So, so I, you know what I did? I, I put the pillows right here, like, under my thighs, like, uh, under my under my butt. And I took, like, a picture, like, doggy style position. <laughs> I let that bitch off only for, like, ten minutes. And, like, and I deleted it. And then he's like, what happened? I'm like, hey, man, I don't, I don't know. This is, I think somebody reported it or something. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I thought you deleted it. No, I deleted it, but I told him somebody reported it. Ah. I didn't want to leave it on too long, you know? So you had a moment. I didn't want to leave it on too long. It's like, it's too much. People can't have a question. But what the fuck do you care if you're going to do it? No, man. I just... So woman, you're about to, you see? <laughs> men don't have a chance, man. This is what we go through. Hey, <laughs> Y'all go through these emotions. I, know, I, have this, I have this one picture in my Instagram. That I'm, I'm, I'm looking for my socks under my bed. And I'm like in doggy style position. And, and the, the funniest comment that I read, because I had like these checker, these checker pants, right? This guy was like, oh, my God, I'm getting so dizzy. I'm going in. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh, I think that was the best comment I've read right there, dog. That's so funny. Uh, if, if after that, I would have I encouraged you to buy all kind of different type of uh, spandex <laughs> that has spirals and whatever. Yeah, you go in all right. <laughs> so funny, man. That was the funniest comment. Do, do, do you feel like uh, most men are undercover simps? Since you since you got these guys who are hitting you up and being so merciful, uh, uh, I would say inferior, super, uh, letting you just do what you want with them. Yeah. Are a lot of these guys are they admitting that they're in relationships or married? I mean, I don't really ask. You don't. All right. Yeah, not, I guess not, that's the right thing. My business, right, right. Right. And and it that wouldn't affect you regardless. No, mm, as long as I'm getting paid and mm. cold blooded. <laughs> I mean, it is what it is. What it is. That, that's how you feel. That's yeah. how you feel. Yeah, I don't got to know about your life. You got to know about what's going on here right now. If, if you if you feel like this, right, and, and you think that, you know, most men this, and you've already seen the level that guys are willing to, you know, bow down to, and you're being so uh, dominant, you know, towards men, have you ever thought about doing OnlyFans? Does that make sense? Actually, or, or is actually that... I opened up with OnlyFans. It's called Cosplay Kings. But I was like, mm, I don't know if I want to show my ass and my booty hole and my pussy hole and my titty and shit. Like, I'm good. I think I'd probably be I don't, on, I don't think you have to show all that, Nas. It's I up don't to know. you. I, I, th I thought that's what it was. So I was it's like, maybe, maybe, maybe I show. should do some Twitch. I think Twitch is better for me. You, you know? play games? No, but I'll just do it for the money. You know? <laughs> Hey, I'm a fast learner, so I, I, you know, <laughs> so you'll teach, learn you'll learn a game and just pull the titties yeah, out of yeah, where the fuck is. Teach me how to play. I'll play. You know, like I, I I'm self taught on a lot of things. So if I want to really learn something, I'll learn it. <laughs> every, every everything is a hustle. Yeah, for sure. W whatever makes sense. Yeah. I mean, right? I mean, that's what it seems like right yeah. about now. Do you feel like you 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 turned that button off on the heart where there's no going back into that? I went to the heart. I mean, Nas, it seems like you're, you're you're closing the door on anything genuine possibly happening with somebody. No, I don't actually. <clears throat> what, what this is what I do. Okay, this is this is exactly what I do. Like if I have a guy come up to me and try to holler at me, 
I try to, I, I kind of test him to see if he's a pussy or a fucking real ass nigga, right? And um, most of the time, they, they show me that they're pussy because I, I say I say a story or say something weird or something, or something that they get freaked out of, and then they walk away. I'm like, oh, okay, that guy's a punk. But, um, you know, sometimes the guys, they... Do you, th- they, is, is, do you think that's accurate to say that most women do that? Like, not not, no. not, not, not as aggressively as you did, but do you think girls do that, tell a little story to kind of get a, a feed on a guy? Mm, I'm not sure, but, you I know, mean, I do it. You do it, okay, yeah. okay. I do it, and then, and then some guys don't, don't they're, they're not fooled yeah. by all that shit, you know what I'm saying? Some guys are like, oh, I know what you're doing, girl. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh, really? And that's when you get your first little turn on? And then I'll be like, all right, so what's 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 next? Round two. Yeah. <laughs> next challenge. Goddamn. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know you're going to find somebody. You I, might as well just keep fucking dog chaining these guys yeah, up and yeah. slapping them up. And I, <laughs> I really, like, literally, I just want to make a lot of money. I told. To get my, my, my son, like, a beautiful modern house. You know, because I, I spoil the shit out of my son. I spoil him. All right. Well, at least your your focus is always going to be. Yeah. That's good. And me, I just have my sex doll right next to me. <laughs> sex doll. Like, she's a Barbie. I'll just her up Twitter outfit and shit. You know we're we're, we're, we're going to do a follow update podcast in the future. I'll be damned. I'm going to fucking be your manager if I have to. We need to get you sponsored. <laughs> I've never heard a woman say that, but it makes so much sense. I imagine that. Uh, product the product manufacturers reach out to the, the actual porn people yeah but i'm gonna say that of course they're gonna do that the same way uh gyms will reach out to gym influencers and shit like that but i don't think that there's enough women who are openly just saying hey i will not do porn but i will try your product out yeah. and i will fucking talk about it and but i'll yeah. inspire other bitches but to go yeah. ahead and jump yeah, on yeah. it and i think that's fucking crazy yeah. I, I don't do it <laughs> I'll make it real juicy for you. Wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh Lord, if we don't get you a deal, <laughs> I, I, I don't I don't know what's wrong after that. Anyways, moving forward, what's the next wild shit you plan to do? You got the tongue split. You don't have that many piercings on the face no, and under the to, ears. Are you, are, are you planning to do anything crazy in regards? I know you're gonna keep getting tatted. I mean, obviously, I, I that's not had, crazy. I already had every crazy piercing you think of. But I okay, just, I took them off. Um. So now you're just down to just regular ears, yeah, and that's to, it. No, no, I actually want to get my ears like the like the like the the ear elves yeah, elves here, but I heard it's really painful, and I, I don't think I'm. Is that the one that's like a stick that goes through both it, two 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 holes? It, they just make it look like ear like elves ears and shit. What's up with you in this cosplay shit? Okay, no, all right. but chill, but chill. Like I thought about <clears throat> it. I thought about it. I don't think I want to do it because let, let me let me. I let, like to see it on my side, and it's like that's just gonna be real painful. I I want to I want to before we get off the topic because once we get off it I'll leave it alone. So, even if it was a, a good guy or not, if it was just a sexual or, or occurrence or fucking client, whatever you want to call, is it only like dress up and role play that does it for you? Mm-hmm. God damn! I, I, don't, I don't even like watching regular porn. I like watching <laughs> anime porn. You understand that that I mean, unless a man was totally into that same shit, he he just gonna fall short for you. What do you mean fall short? That he won't he won't he won't he won't satisfy you. Well, you talking mean, about dressing okay, up? So you talking about like if he's telling me he can't he doesn't have to tell me, you. I'll tell him how to satisfy me. But what if he doesn't fucking want to put an outfit on and change his this and put this and not like? Okay, then no, then you know okay, what? Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna be like, okay, then I'm gonna teach you how I like to be touched. I'm gonna teach you how I like to be grabbed. I'm gonna teach you how I like to be sucked. And I and I need you to put this costume on. No, I, if he doesn't like costume, I'm gonna tell him to put a costume. But I'll tell him every uh, if he's touching me like this, I'm like, no, I don't like to be touched like that. Touch me like this. And he touched me. Like, no, 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 I don't like to be touched like that. Touch me like this. Okay, like that. So yeah. so no matter what, what, what to, to me the most obvious common denominator is just you being dominant. Yeah. It's not, it's not about him doing the right or wrong thing. It's just as long as you get to tell him what to do and how to yeah. do it, that's what does it for you. Yeah. Yeah, that's a steep hill to crying up. Uh, but uh, there's a lot of guys out there who like it. I mean, you know, <laughs> I, I, that's crazy. You know, I, obviously, I've never been into that. But I, I, I try my best to keep learning about people's kinks and, and, and quirks and, and what does it for them and why and, and, uh, and just respect it, you know. It's yeah. like... Uh, Whatever your backstory is, there's there's a reason why you're into that. Were you into anime? Is that something you were into? Were I you into 
dressing up back oh i love i just i just like dressing up because i feel like literally i do have multiple personalities or i've been in i whenever i tr i trip like i go into different realms and in every realm i'm a different person so i feel like damn i feel like okay i gotta be this person this time so then i change my look so even when you're sober that yeah. different realm that different that yeah, that, yeah. that high hits you where you want to no, i got i could be sober but then that day i'll be like okay i'm gonna be this girl from this room today this person I need today because and she's, been, she's been wanting to come out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like that because it's like she's been why why am I why out. am I just gonna be me when I have all these these women that are me in different realms? You know, because it, it's crazy. Because bro, I'm telling you the truth, man. When I tripped, I was in different <coughs> planets, different realms, and living like hundreds, of, like mil millions of years in a planet. And then when I wake up, it's been a second. <coughs> just a second. I just like a pass. Okay, so so we're talking about tripping. Mm -hmm. Are we talking about mushrooms or acid? Mushrooms. So you you you're a fan of it. Do you do it often? I do it often. Yeah. How long you been doing this for? When, <laughs> when did it talk to you? I Some people I, are gonna be out there listening. They're gonna be like, when, I, when did it make you crazy? I, um, crazy. No, I think it made me um just realize a lot of things. Oh, that, well, there's a lot of us who will be on that side. Yeah. But, you know, so, like, but, but when did this? Happen. Um, I think uh, maybe like three years ago, maybe four years ago when I, when I started doing like hardcore mushrooms. But do you remember the specific first big one that that changed you, um, or it was just an accumulation of a bunch of them that started opening no, up no, your I mind? Think, I think the one that really changed me was the one that I, that that I was supposed to I was supposed to meet up my cousin, right? I bought like like a hundred piece of, of mushrooms, like two big old bags of mushrooms. I started eating mines, and I have, I have, I, I love animals. I have a chihuahua, a dachshund. I got um, a sulcata tortoise and a crested gecko, and all in my room. And I'm here, like, <laughs> I'm here, like just chilling in my desk, like trying to do some art shit. And I, and all of a sudden, I hear, I hear like a little voice, and I'm like, and I hear my tortoise talking to me, and I named, I named him Michelangelo because of Ninja Turtles, right? And he's like, dude. Dude, like it's so it's so whack in here, man. Like, <laughs> like I, I, don't, I don't feel good in here, man. Like, he sounded like that in everything. Yeah, like, I feel mad, depressed, dude. And I'm like, damn. Well, let me get this turtle out of here, man. And I went and I got the, I got the tortoise out and I threw I threw the I threw, the, I threw the, the the cage out, and I just let the turtle roam free all over the house and he's chilling. But then it comes to find out it's a woman, so I changed his name to Michelangelo for Michelangelo. Hold on, you found that out? That it's a woman. That it's a female turtle yeah. or tortoise, whatever. Yeah. So now it's Michelangelo. You still have her? Yeah. Does he still talk to you? No, but so that, that was, day, that, that day. So that day, was a, that day was a big day. Yeah, it was a big day. And then what? After that high, you realize that if you get high enough, you can connect differently? No, I feel like I connect a lot anyways, but... um. I don't know, that day I feel like I, I had to hit that point for me to listen to him because... You know, I didn't want him to be depressed. You know what I'm saying? Like, I felt like, damn, I should get him a bigger time. What the fuck I do? And then he talked. He, he talked to me, and he told me straight up, like, "Yo, dude, what's up, dude? Like, I'm fucking pretty depressed back here." <laughs> and I let him go, and then he's happy as fuck. Like, I feel him kale whenever he walks around. Yeah. Oh, yeah, my bad. She. Whenever she. Yeah, I'll just, I just. I thought you were just role playing with it. Until no, that, yeah, but. yeah. I give her kale. She's just happy, you know. She, she likes to walk around and she, and she be walking around, boy. She knows her own way around the, the house. So after that, did you start exploring heavier with the shrooms because you wanted to connect more? Um, there was one time that I had eat like a, like two pieces of chocolate and it was, bro, I was like, man, I'm a big girl. This is not going to hit me. Let me tell you something, man. I, I was in my bed and then I started like manifesting like some shape shifting ass dark fucking figure, and I was like, oh hell no, please, no, 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 no. think about happy thoughts, happy thoughts, <laughs> happy thoughts. And then my friend texts me, and I'm telling him like, yo, there's a fucking shadow that's coming to life right here by my room, bro. And then he texts me this song from Gucci Mang called Both Eyes Closed, and I and I started listening to it, and I was like, okay, both eyes closed. But when I closed my eyes, I was tripping even harder. I was seeing, like, I, I felt like I was in, a, in another person's reality. Like, I was... Do you I, remember how many grams you did that time? It was only two pieces of chocolate. Yeah, but two pieces can be two grams. It can be four grams. I don't even know, man. Like, it, was, it was cookies and cream. That's all I know. 
<laughs> but at that time, it was definitely the most you've ever done. No, no, that was no, that was like the least I've ever done, and it hit me that hard. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. But you remember that experience where it, it changed? Yeah, no, things. I was I was already getting kind of scared because I wasn't be, I wasn't able to control the the shape shifting <laughs> the shape shifter. I'm like, oh shit, fuck. You know? And so what? Now, now you just do it, uh, micro, uh, micro doses, nah, or you go a little extra depending on that. The only micro dosing I do is with my, with my mushroom coffee. It's called the uh, daily dose. But when I trip, I trip hard, man. I trip real hard. I like, I like tripping hard because I feel like that helps a lot with with depression. <clears throat> so you wouldn't to admit that you you do do deal with depression. Yeah. Interesting. Mm-hmm. And it helps. It does help a lot. Like, like the reason why I like to do it so intense, cause it, it like it, it alleviates depression for a long time. But if you microdose, it's like it's still there. You know what I'm saying? That's why I like to trip hard. Fellas, fellas, fellas! If you're ever in the South Florida region, or better yet, the beautiful city of Miami, and you want the dopest fade possible, make sure you go to butterthebarber.com. That's B U T T A. TheBarber.com. Butter happens to be my personal barber, a great friend of mine, and he is top-notch, one of the best barbers in Miami. So once again, if you're in the Miami region and you want to get the dopest, fly his haircut, make sure you go visit B-U-T-T-A, TheBarber.com, and set your appointment with my boy, Butter. Back to the podcast. So m- mentioning Adam and how he, he opened up, and, and what that brought about, what it reminded me of is there's a lot of men out there who who have a lot of shit to open up, open up about, open up to. And unfortunately, and today was an example. Today was an example that no one saw coming. I didn't see it coming. I know Adam didn't see it coming. And no one knew that it happened except for me and Adam until you right now and everybody watching right now. But um, a lot of men are holding back from opening up. And, 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 and I know there's a lot of reasons why, so I, I won't you know, try to cover them all. But what I will, what I will point out is this, and this is, this is what I want to uh, cover in regards to the topic because you're here in front of me. I think men hold back more more so than what they should because they fear what their woman will will think of them afterwards. And even when they know they have a good woman and a woman that loves them, and and it might even be a wife and it might even be the mother of Mm -hmm. their children, a man questions his manhood every time he cries. A man questions his manhood when he shows... Any kind of emotion that's far far off the, the trail of manhood. Yeah, yeah no, I, I could tell you something. And and so they don't have the opportunity to open up. So it's like, and, and this is not a, a, a shots fired to you know feminists and, and and the women who are behind this this you know this movement. But it doesn't help when you have that type of you know movement occurring and men are are just barely trying to get a grip on. When they can open up, yeah. when 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 they can you know be vulnerable because they feel like women will look at them as a weaker man after they open up, yeah. and and we're we've been taught that women want a protector, they want to feel right. safe, they That's- want they want to. So when the minute you open up and you cry and you admit your flaws or your weaknesses, they feel like oh I'm gonna get left any time now, and it almost. Almost ruins a relationship. How, wait, how wait, do you who, feel who, about what that? What do you mean? Who cries? The men or the no, I'm talking about the man. The men crying? You see? You see? This is a prime. This just happened live. Not live, live, but live. Because this is not getting edited. You see? You're you're part of the problem. You're. This is happening right now live. No, no, we're going to call it out. This is part of the problem. You thought I was talking about a woman, and you were ready to come to the defense of a woman who was being emotional and all that, and the whole time I was talking about a man. What I'm saying is this is why men do not 
open up. They don't open up enough, okay. and they hold all this back. This is no, why no. Adam had his moment with me with a grown man that he's not even close to. In the middle of his kid's party, he teared up because I opened yeah. up about uh, my, yeah, my past. Yeah, different people activated different this, people. You know yeah, but, th- but this is an example that men are holding back too much emotions, and I think a lot, a big part of it, I'm not trying to point the finger, but a big part of it is because women act the way you just fucking did when they do. No, man, you make us feel like, okay, that's it. We can never recover from this. No, we just okay. weak ass motherfuckers now. We some bitch ass niggas no, no, now. Listen, listen, listen. Chill out. No. <laughs> okay. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm going to give you two examples. Okay. Right? Okay, so my father. My father literally communicates telepathically. Dude. He does not talk at all. Holy shit. Okay. Yeah, and I already mastered that shit. Like, I already know what the fuck he's thinking and all that shit. Right? And, um, you know, I feel like he's holding something back, man, because on Thanksgiving... He was supposed to say grace. <laughs> he didn't even get to say it, man. He was there. Okay, so he's like, I want to thank. Um, and he just broke into tears. And I'm like, damn, dad. Like, are you, like, ashamed? Or are you, oh, like, whoa, whoa, whoa. What's, that, like, what's wrong? Like, you, there's definitely a lot going on. Are you, like, um, like, you know, I don't know. I feel like something's happening here right now. Are you um, doing something behind our back? Or but no one, you didn't ask that in the moment. You just saw that he broke down. Everybody, and everybody started laughing because it was kind of funny. But uh, <laughs> you see what I mean? You see what I mean? It was kind of This grown ass man, if you're 40, I'm going to assume your dad's late 50s or 60s, and his fucking family laughed at him. When he cried, like he's some pussy. No, man, there goes, there no, goes dad no, being fucking that. soft. There's a background. There's a background. Story. Oh there's man! Background All right. I'm, I'm here thinking like, ooh. ooh. <laughs> tell the people. Tell the people. Okay, so I'm here thinking like, ooh. <clears throat> so it's all coming out now, right? Huh? Okay. That 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 bitch you cheated on my mom with. Okay. See, you feel uh, bad, right? You feel bad because you're in a nice dinner here with your real family. You feel bad, don't you? Huh? Okay. Uh, I see yeah. the I see the cold blooded coming. That's that's what I see. Okay, so I, so I know, I know what's going on. So here 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 now I'm gonna jump the gun. See that cold bloodedness and I get it because you, you you feel a certain way because your dad did that to your mom, right? Yeah. And you knew that she knew that and probably everybody else knew that. Mm-hmm. So that, that I get that that anger came out like yeah pussy yeah, yeah. yeah but I left now yeah, I, I didn't act but mad but I but left. with that said with that said unfortunately my opinion. That did something to you in such a way that now when I bring up a grown man crying, trying to express himself, pretty much reaching out for help, no, no, you but, fuck, but, but you laughed no, but, at it. No, you, no, you, you immediately you, laughed you at could, it, you Nas. Could tell, you could tell who's who, though. Like, if I, I know that my dad's fucking up and I see him fucking crying, I'd be like, damn, you're ashamed, huh? I know you're ashamed, bro. Yeah, but we talked about earlier in regards but, to that when but you but feel ashamed about but something. If I see somebody, somebody else trying to open up, and, and he looks like a genuine person. I'm like, hey, man, it's okay to cry, man. You know what I'm saying? Let Listen, I'm going to keep it 100. This is like me talking, not, no insult. It's not like talking to the wall, but it's, it's you're a dominatrix. So if I, if, 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 I, if I talk to you about a man showing anything less of fucking just grisly-ass manhood, you're going to fucking squat down and piss on it and say, pay me. So I, 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 and I'm okay with accepting that, but... I'm gonna tell everybody else listening, and and whether or not and whether or not you you take when, it for what it is. What what, world, what I'm just saying is. There's a human world and there's a dominant okay, world. Okay, you, you right if that's what you want to do, but if you keep <laughs> if you keep separating shit like that, it, it just divides us too much. It's not that dominate tricks your ass when you're fucking being kinky sexually. Be a fucking human when you're not. Exactly. Okay, so I say that respectfully because no, yeah, I, I, to, today, I was today, human, but, but, but what happened? What happened but today? My dad, you know, he has. Some, I get it. He, he yeah, he fucked things. up. I get yeah. that, but but don't judge other men because of that. I'm trying to tell I you. Don't judge I'm trying, but I'm trying to tell you about a man who who shed tears today, random as fuck with I'm me. I'm not judging other men. And you man. went vicious with it. Don't be, don't be attacking me. <laughs> I'm boy. not. I'm not. Listen, I'm not, I'm not. Let's not switch gears like that. Not, not, not at all, not at all, not at all. But it is crazy that we all, men and women, we're very different in the way we look at things. I told you a story earlier before we got we started recording. Shout out to my brother and his girlfriend, Sherry. Sherry, much love. Shout out to my niece. She just had a 16th birthday. We had an amazing celebration. Uh, she turned 16 on the 21st of January. And we went to, uh, we, we live here in Miami, we went to uh, Key Biscayne and we had a celebration and we had to do a big ass setup and I gave I gave a few of the details. 
Sherry is my brother's girlfriend. She's almost like, you know, pretty much like a, a um, stepmom, you know, to, to my niece. And I w- had the I had the duties of uh, putting in the labor. I was a laborer, right? So I had to help her set up this, that, whatever. She was the boss for the day. So we bonded a whole lot. And anyways, long story short, at some point, we you know, she started opening up when we were on the way back. Mm-hmm. And she was buzzed. And we were talking about men versus women and so on and so <laughs> forth. And then coincidentally... She, she right on the spot. She gets aggravated with my brother because he's beating her to the house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and I'm like, "What's wrong with you?" She's like, "I told Danny that I want to be get home before him so I can set up the table before the kids get there." And I'm like, "Well, it's not a big deal if we get there together." She's like, "No, but I wanted to. You know, everything's going so good." Blah 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 blah. blah. And then I, she's calling my brother right there in front of me. So I'm like, let me stay quiet. So she calls my brother. Hey, baby. Blah, 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 blah. They have a quick, little, you know, cute moment. <laughs> and then, boom, she turns up. Why are you going in front of me? Blah, blah. It starts, you know, she didn't go off the wall with it. But it was enough where I just thought either Danny or any other man, 85% of other men would be like, there goes the woman nagging again. <laughs> and I felt it without even being in his shoes. I was like. This is so hey, look, unnecessary. Men are not supposed to understand women. Y'all supposed to just love us. We do when y'all stay in line. <laughs> <laughs> stay in your lane, girl. <laughs> I think um, ultimately, man, it, it, whatever brings you the joy that you want in your life. If you like chaos, then you want somebody who brings chaos in your life. If you like peace and tranquility, then... You're going to adore the person uh, yeah, that brings that you know, peace and tranquility. Oh, yeah. You got you to gotta attract it. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, manifest it. Well, uh, yeah. You can say that. I, I hate to use that word so loosely manifest. because I love the word, but I think people abuse it. So, manifest, if you just think about it, it's not going to just fucking pop up. It's yeah. not going to It ain't that type of shit. Manifest is you believe in it enough. You think about it all the time. You think about it so much that you put in the effort and eventually it unfolds because yeah. you made it unfold. Um, yeah, you're going to attract the energy that you provide, that you push out For there. Sure. So to each their own. And you're a wild one, and, 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 hey, no, you, you, and you got some wild ones that you attract. And, no, and, no, let me tell you. I have a, I have a girl, ex-girlfriend that me and her, like we, we, we're like a power couple, man, because every time me and her will put our heads together, and we, we will literally manifest shit like, to happen right there at that point. That's like right. what? Like, like for instance, one day we want to, like, oh, darn, I want to I wanna smoke some weed right now. We got some money, man. Right? And all of a sudden, ring, ring, somebody calls. Hey, man, y'all, y'all girls want a pound and shit? And we're like. It's got nothing, it's got nothing to do with the weed man trying to meet his quota. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? Somebody is getting it for free? Like, oh, shit. We, we, yo, we made this happen right now, do, do, do you feel like mushrooms change you forever and now that's something that you'll never walk away from? Um, I mean, I, I love I love mushrooms my whole life. I I used to draw them when I was a little girl. I actually did my one of my doors in my bedroom. I did like a big ass mushroom on my door with spray paint. My mom got so mad. She was what like, was that? When when what was the earliest date that you started? What was the first time you did mushroom? Um, I think it was when um, hmm, I'm forty right now. <laughs> Tell me I'm forty. Um, teenager. I think, or, uh, yeah, I think I think it was, I think it was like high school. 15, 16, somewhere around there. I guess that's average for... But, for oh, for no, people. no, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't. I'm lying. Okay, so I remember the first the time... microphone, girl. The first time I did mushrooms, I remember now. Um, there we go. I was at a party with one with a lot of my friends. That they, they had... He lived in a building in Cold Gables that had, like, a banquet. And everybody was, like, telling, like, talking about each other. Okay, I'm going to bring this, I'm going to bring this. And I'm like, I'm going to bring some balloons. And I'm everybody's like, balloons? Why are you going to bring balloons? I was Oh man, you can't have a party about balloons, man. And they were like, oh, whatever, girl. And then I, when I came through with the balloons and I decorated the motherfucking shit with the balloons, hey, it looked like a fucking party, man. That's say you were the first one to change the game of balloons. Yeah. And then, and, then, and then my friend, he's the one that was like, hey, mama, you want to try some shoes today? And I'm like, hmm. So how do you do it? So, okay, I mean, you're, you're going to get two stamps first and then you tell me how you feel. If you feel good, I'm going to give you another one. I'm like, all right, for sure. So it, we say he kept on talking back. We talking back and forth like throughout the hours and shit, right? And then, <laughs> and then at the end of the night, man, like I felt like I was the only one having a good trip, yo. Everybody else was tripping hard, like tripping nasty. Oh, like too hard, the, like the guy that was trying to teach me how to trip was throwing up all over the bathroom, 
going crazy, and all these other girls were like tripping out, crying, and, and I'm there just like in in the living room looking at all this Japanese art, Japanese shit. I'm like, whoa, man. Have you ever, have you Nas? Have you ever? I'm sure you have, because I'm, I'm I would imagine you've had many conversations with yourself. Yes, indeed. Do you feel like you have like special powers? Like you're very, you know, wired differently. I think I am. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I can vibe with that. Yeah, for sure. I but think I, I, I think I, I am too. Not, I, not, actually, not, look, not resistant to drugs. Actually, but. No, and actually, I think it's gotten stronger this year. But you think because what? Because of what you go through with life? No, Just, no, because I feel because I. I feel, or you practicing powers? I'm, I'm actually like I feel more sensitive to things, and also like um, I've never read cards before, but I read cards late like recently and everything was like so on point so i'm like damn and i whenever i read <laughs> whenever i read the cards i feel like i read cards so i'm like damn yeah, no, i'm like damn no, and, it's, and it's on point though and it's like whenever i read it it's like i feel like it's, it's not even me reading it somebody else oh you Lord know what i'm saying so i'm like bro something something's some inside of me reading this shit to mama right now some, but, I'm, but I'm telling her what she needs to hear. Somebody listening right now is is that's called gas. <laughs> God damn, Nas, you're a trip, bro. I, I love this. It, the, the, you know, to me, that makes this what makes this the 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 most enjoyable is that you say it with such passion, like you really 100 percent feel it, believe it, and and no one can contest it. And I can't do nothing but appreciate that. Uh, I know there's people out there who are like this woman's mad. She's crazy, I'm mate. Mad, I'm mad hatter. That blue hair, she looks like Rogue from 2027. No, and then tomorrow I'll have By the way, Rogue, Rogue has special powers. You remember that, right? And then tomorrow I'll have ginger hair. I'll be the ginger hair, gingerbread hair. <laughs> <laughs> gingerbread hair. I, I, if if I didn't know you better, I would assume that you've been you've been uh, kidnapped by aliens and uh, you know something we don't know. How do you feel about UFOs, man? Man, I love all the alien shit, man. I really? love Alien 1, Alien 2. Not the Ripley. fucking movie, Nas. I'm talking about UFOs, like I real know. deal. Tell me what you hey, do. Hey, man, if aliens were like those aliens, we were fucked. You oh, know yeah, that's true. We're right. totally fucked. But do you, do, you, do you really believe that they're amongst us? Do you believe they're visiting sure, us? Well, sure. well, how do you see that? For sure, man, because, like, it's like, who, who the hell built those damn pyramids, man? Like, come on. Humans, humans couldn't have done that. They needed some help. So you think the pyramids is a big reason why? Everything, everything in the ancient times is the reason why. There's a lot of like stuff out there that that has um, stuff from the future. You know what I'm saying? That t- that that they sculptured that's from the future. I'm like, how the fuck does he, do these motherfuckers know about this when it wasn't even in the time? Right, right. You know what I'm saying so according like, to the hieroglyphics and yeah, stuff like so it's that. Like, yeah, it's crazy. It's true, true. I'm a big fan of that. Uh, Have you seen uh, the last Indiana Jones? No, I haven't oh, actually, man, and yes. I'm a big fan of by Indiana Jones. Yes. Why is is that good? Yeah, yeah, see that boy. You're the first person that tells me that. Okay, it's really good, really good, man. Why? And is it eventually going to some alien shit? Is yeah. that what you thought about that? No, it goes into more like back the Egyptian in, shit. No, it goes it goes into um like going towards the past, like you know I don't I don't want to. All right, all right, cool, okay. cool. I'm, I'm I'm gonna watch it. Um, yeah, it's a really good movie. I love Indiana Jones. I, I hate I hate to pay for shit. Where the hell, where's that at right I now? I think you get it on. Um, it's not Prime Video. No, no. I think you probably, pay for it probably on YouTube. Oh, you know what? Or not that. What is this website called? Uh, you the website. Get, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think it's called Soap Today. Soap Today. Right there. Sub Today. Soap Today. Soap today. So today, y'all better pay us, goddamn it. Yeah, no, yeah, no. I, I don't know if you're even be saying it. But yeah, you know what I'm saying? Listen, like, before, really? but, but before we cut out. One, I want to make sure that anybody watching this, if you guys know a goddamn uh, sex toy manufacturer you. of I any sort that, that needs a spokesperson who's just 100% willing, able, and qualified. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I you, fucking I'll show love you it. how it's used and everything. I love it. Girl, I'll tell you what. Why don't you start your... This is your calling. OnlyFans page. Strictly for demonstration of toys out there. Okay, so so I really call the call y'all saw it right here five percent. Uh, I get five percent uh, if not ten. How should, how should I name it though? I, I, I well, let's it. keep talking about it. By the way, when we cut the cameras off, I'm telling everybody right now we're gonna go get some pizza down the street. Yeah, the margarita, Greek, the Greek, the Greek pizza. pizza. Yeah, there you margarita go. Margarita pizza. Um, and y'all know I eat healthy, but you know 
Th this is special. Hanging out with the homegirl <laughs> like this. It's been such a fun podcast. Yeah. Um, but no, for real though, I'm gonna put my best foot forward. I hope y'all watching can help me out with this. We're gonna do this. You need to start an OnlyFans page where these motherfucking sexual toy uh manufacturers they to me and that's it. And you do you you do they that's it. This is it. Let's this is, it. we're making it happen. We're making it happen. We're making it happen. Nah, I, I'm so glad we do this. We did this, and um, we're definitely gonna do a follow up, man. Cause I just, I just know these people. They're gonna love the fuck out of you. I'm gonna get all <laughs> kind of DMs like, "Yo, your homegirl's wild." And this and that and this. It's, it's, it's fun, obviously. And make sure to follow me, too. Yes, at Nas Amazing, N-A-Z. Amazing. Amazing. A-M-A-Z-I-N-G. -A -A so Nas, A-M-A-Z-I-N-G. Nas Amazing. The one and yeah. only. Show some love. Follow her. Send her some fucking wild messages. She said some crazy shit today, man. So go ahead and challenge <laughs> her and, and ask her what the fuck was she talking about. But no, for real, though, it's been such a blast. It's been fun. We're going to go get some grub. For sure. Keep talking some more shit off cam. Listen, guys, I love y'all, man. Thank you for sticking around this long. Don't forget, go show your support. BlackSheepApparel.shop. BlackSheepApparel.shop. Go show some love. Get what you want to get. Damn, girl, we can't say that online. They got to they, they gotta go check out the site. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> love, peace, and hair grease, man. I love you guys. Take care.